Hello all, today in this video I am going to provide details like how to open a CSV file in Vika and work with it. For that I am just opening the explorer file and then we are going to open file session and in that I am just moving to the uh, session where I am having the code I am having in this prop field only we are going to do of cropping prediction but in csv file so here in arf data fields you have to just call this so along uh, along with arf this uh, uh, maximum arf is the default one present in vega but it will also call some other file location like this and all uh, so i'm just calling it and then i'm clicking it and just making it to open so now you can see the data which we have called is uh, over here this data set i downloaded from kaggle uh, then if you want to visualize all means you have, can just give like visualize all so every attributes which is present in the data set you can just make a view of it so now i am just going to choose some filters so I'm choosing all filter and uh, giving apply so some filtering is going on over here then I'm going to classify the function so first we can use use training set and uh, in that uh, sorry percentage split and in that we can give 80 percent for tra training and balance of 20 percent for testing uh, then uh, here they have defaultly it is selected as zero or in that time uh, these everything is not available for this data set so first we can choose Gaussian process so we have given percentage split so if you want to choose some other options over here means you can just uh, uh, choose over here so I'm no uh, I'm not in need of th that so I'm not giving it so now I'm closing it and then I'm moving to the start function. So now I am getting the values for um, correlation coefficient. Before that, we can also just see that uh, in Gaussian process, the kernel used is a linear kernel. And they have also showed what are the functions we have given that uh, uh, inverted covariance matrix obtained that is how, what is its a lowest value and what is its highest value and then the train a uh, test split value only is uh, this is for training and this is for test split it is obtained and the time is also given so you can notice that the time was 0.12 seconds with 0.12 seconds uh, the model is built and to test model is 0 0.03 seconds only so the value for correlation coefficient along with mean absolute error then root mean squared error then relative absolute error, root relative squared error and what are the total number of instances is given here. So now we used this uh, percentage split. Then you can just use this uh, training set and uh, I'm just giving start. So I'll, you can see there is some difference. So already we got nearly more than 90% in correlation coefficient and now we are getting only 81% and also some instances has been uh, ignored you can notice that so while using this training set so this is the value uh, so apart from that we can just move with cross validation also so initially i'm working with the five cross uh, five folds and giving uh, a start so now also you can see some big percentage difference in correlation coefficient and some other values also so if you want to increase or decrease that means you can do it and then give start so i am just increasing it and giving it so many in not much difference is there in this so this is the uh, code for that so in the next code we can move with some other classifier with vega thank you